the exam content outline as it is now was first published in 2015. So it's pretty old, right? It's uh, going on five years old. Now, it talks about what? What did I say it talks about? Tasks, tasks a project manager performs. Project Management Institute services, uh, surveys companies as well as project managers always on a regular basis and they look for things like salaries what do you make and businesses how much do you pay your project managers and what do you do as a project manager and when they survey businesses they asked what do you like to do and when they pull all these surveys together they find out some things they find out things like if you have a PMP versus not, you generally make 20 to 25% more. Isn't that scary? Um, there's a lot of things that they find out and they release these results. Well, also, if you do this over time, you find out that the job of a project manager changes. And so that's what they're looking at. Now, what they do, is the this exam content outline was broken up in 2015 they organize this work in different manners they organize it by task by knowledge and skill okay now they also break it down by domain when i say domain it's a group of processes okay initiating do, uh, domain that's the tasks that a project manager does in getting a project approved. Planning, that's the task a project manager does in putting a plan together for a project. Executing, these are the tasks a project manager does leading and directing the project work. And monitoring and controlling. Monitoring and controlling is where you uh, analyze and review and you measure and you inspect and you approve and reject change okay and then closing which is you hand over what you did at the end of the project right so it structures how a manager leads and directs a project okay there are five domains well here's an example of what you'll find in the exam content outline you'll have a planning domain and then you'll have skills within that. And a skill may be communications planning, right? And then a task to go with that is develop the communications plan. All well and good, right? Sounds pretty good. Well, they've totally refitted this document, okay? Now, the new one was out in June 2019. It's been out for a while, but they haven't used it yet. It was supposed to become active um, in December, I think. I may be wrong. You, one of you may know this better than me. Um, but uh, they decided to uh, update the exam and reflect the new exam uh, um, exchange content out, exam content outline on it. Um, July 1st. So if you want to take the exam is as it is today, you can, and you can take it until the end of June. Okay, these changes don't apply. Now, here's what the new exam content outline looks like. It doesn't have what we just talked about. It doesn't have domain skills and tasks. It now has domains, tasks, and enablers. And you're saying, sure, Tim, they're just calling them by different names. Sort of. We'll look at this, okay? We have domains, but they're different. And they mean different things. We have tasks, and they have defined tasks specifically, which are underlying responsibilities of the manager they're not specific and tactical what what did i say uh plan communication management that's an action step right that's what the tasks used to be and then they have something that are enablers for you and me they look like examples okay they're basically how 
we take these tasks, these new underlying responsibilities, and put them to work or put them into action. So where we used to have planning, communications planning, and we developed the communication plan, we now have people. We don't have our, our uh, domains. We still have them. They still exist. Okay, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But we don't have them as representative in the exam content outline, which means something. We'll talk about what it means in a moment. We have domains like people. And so a task within our people domain is manage conflict, right? You manage conflict, well, number one, because conflict can be an issue. It can get in the way of work. So you want to remove issues, right? Well, also we find out that conflict is differences of opinion, which means that we can find out how people think differently, which means we can use innovation to discover, we can we use, use conflict to discover innovation. Okay, so in the people domain, we manage conflict and an enabler to managing conflict or one of these underlying illustrators of work associated with the task is setting a clear vision and mission. It's strategic now. It isn't tactical, is it? It's like picking up a box and moving it, setting it down. No, this now is not management. Management is picking up that box. You know, say, pick up that box, move it there, set it down, let's manage, right? We do that all the time. A project manager has to manage, but a manager also leads where they set vision and mission and make sure that people are motivated and influenced by these statements. So the exam content outline is shaping the way we look at projects and project management. Isn't that interesting? That is going to change the exam, isn't it? Well, it even gets more interesting, okay? 